Why, hello there. It has been a very long time since I've last uploaded, and I wanted to do a video briefly to discuss something on the 722.6 gearbox, which I've seen a lot of on various Mercedes forums, but I don't think it's actually true, and I'll explain why. So to begin with, here's my hydraulic valve body setup that I've got for testing my TCU on. This is some prototyping circuit for 1.4 board. But what I want to talk about today is these two guys here. These are the shift pressure and modulating pressure solenoids. They're both physically identical to each other, and they both control line pressure. So one controls pressure for the shift pressure, and one controls for the modulating pressure, which also then controls main line pressure um, in the hydraulic diagrams. Now, I have seen loads of information online about there being a blue version of this. I don't have it personally. I've tried looking on eBay, see if I could buy one. They're like a hundred and something each. So very expensive. But the common consensus online is that the blue solenoids equal more pressure. No, they don't. And I'll explain why. But first of all, let me remove one of these. Okay, so here is my shift pressure regulator solenoid. Ignore this um, wire going to it. This is so I can plug it to my oscilloscope when I want to test things. But essentially, these solenoids work by... You have your inlet here and your outlet here, and this sits in the valve body like this. Now... People are saying that on the blue solenoids, there is a stronger spring, and therefore the stronger spring will make more pressure. No, that is not actually correct. So I put a diagram up here of the hydraulic schematics of this gearbox. And what I found is that the line pressure is actually controlled by the line pressure regulator spring, not by the solenoids, because when the solenoids are off, it's at max pressure. They're providing the max pressure because they have to open to let vent out, i.e., to bleed off pressure, they turn on. So therefore, when the solenoid is off, well, if you have both of them off, i.e. you have a blue one off and a brown one off, they'll create the same pressure, because they're both closed. So you can't actually make any more pressure using just the solenoid. So, to prove this, as I've been reverse engineering the 722.6 TCU, or EGS-52, I've taken a load of maps from that TCU, and I figured out which ones are for hydraulics and stuff, and there are actually two different variants of the hydraulic calibrations. Now, you may think here that one of them is for blue tops, one of them is for brown tops. No, that's not correct. One of them is for a max pressure of 7.7 .7 bars in the valve body, and another one is a max pressure of 9.7 bars in the valve body. The 9.7 bar one is typically used on the AMG vehicles, regardless if you have brown or blue top solenoids. Whereas the, the other map, is used for every other car, like the non-AMG ones, which only need about 7.7 .7 bars on max operation. Now, where I think the confusion is, is people are saying that the blue ones make more pressure. Well, I kind of see how you can come to that uh, conclusion. What I think actually is the case is the blue tops have a stronger spring internally. This means they can react faster. So the brown ones, as they're trying to close, and you think about it, you've got pressure forcing this way on it, and you've got this spring on this side trying to close down on the vent to make max pressure or make higher pressures. When you've got a weaker spring, this closing action may take le more time than if you had a stronger spring which could snap back when the current is dropped on the solenoids from the TCU. So therefore, it's my belief that actually what the blue tops do is they actually decrease the filling time of the clutch packs in the TCU, because it can build up pressure a lot quicker. It will get to the same pressure as brown tops, but it will do it a lot quicker than the brown top ones. Therefore, this might be why people get the impression that it gets a uh, higher pressure, because the shifts are faster and less sloppy. That's fine. That's because it's reacting faster. But it does not actually mean that there is more pressure in the gearbox. And as a point of reference, a lot of my testers have been using brown solenoids with my uh, Ultimate NAG52 TCU. And they've all noticed it responding quicker because I've increased the pressure maps for the filling pressure. So it's a way of compensating, if you will, for the fact that these ones will close slower. You just increase it, increase the pressure, the target pressure, and this makes them actually react a little bit faster. So this also explains why if you take a brown solenoid and you put it into a valve body which came with blue solenoids, why the shifts become a little bit mushy. And this is why, especially when you're tuning stuff like with the MK Ultra EGS-52, they say use blue top solenoids, and then if you have a tune with blue top solenoids, do not put brown tops in because it will become mushy. That's to be expected because this solenoid cannot close fast enough, so if you think about it, when the TCU thinks filling is done, this is still at a lot lower pressure than the TCU is actually thinking there is in the valve body. 
So yeah, I just wanted to quickly make this video to debunk that little common misconception about the solenoids. Um, yeah, so it's just a quick little video I wanted to make. But I'll see you guys in my next one. And I'm sure I've got a TCU update video coming, but right now I have a lot of personal stuff going on, so I'm very busy. And also I'm still developing the software for the TCU. You guys are more than welcome to join the Telegram group where I'm discussing that there. But anyway, I'll see you guys in my next one. So bye for now.